Hi guys, it's Rune, the math person. Before we get started, make sure you hit that subscribe button. If you don't want to be bombarded with all these new videos, make sure you turn off that notification. Other than that, let's just dive right into this question. Just 68 on SO exam P, so pause the video real quick and try to pardon yourself. Okay, as you time today, let's just dive right in. So an insurance policy reimburses dental expense up to a maximum benefit of 250, right? So the maximum amount they're gonna do is 250, and the density function is x. So before 250, the expected value or the policy that they're gonna, the benefits for the policy, which I'm gonna denote by y, is just loss, right? But after 250, no matter what, it's gonna be 250. And c is a constant. We can actually find what c is first. So c by definition, integrating from zero to infinity of c e to negative 0.004x. We know all probability has to add up to one, so we're gonna get this is equal to one. Taking the antiderivative, you get c over 0.004 e to the negative 0.004x is equal to one. Plug in the upper limit you here, you get one over e to the infinity, which is a really big number, so you get zero minus minus, that's positive. One over one over 0.004 is actually 250, so this is 250 times c e to the 0 is just 1, so this is what you get, is equal to 1. So c must be equal to 1 over 250. Okay, cool. And then we know that for median, we know that this some value medium from 0 has to equal 1 half. It's exactly just the halfway point of this policy. But we actually can't, we actually don't know where if the me, um, medium falls on this side or this side, so we can assume, assume that it falls on this side, we're gonna just integrate one integral, so it's from zero to m. The function here now becomes one over 250 e to the negative 0.004x is equal to one. So this is exactly just the CDF of a CDF of an exponential function with a mean is equal to um, 250. So that we know that this is equal to one minus e to the negative t over 250. So plugging in m, you get 1 minus e to the negative m over 250 is equal to 1. Half, <laughs> half, this is equal to half, friends. <laughs> so to bring the half on this side, you get 1 half is equal to e to the negative m over 250. Taking a natural log, you get natural log of 1 half is equal to negative m over 250. So then m must be equal to negative 250 times natural log of 1 half which is equal to equal to 173.286 which is indeed the, the medium dental expense is indeed here right so then we don't really care that the maximum is 250 because the m median of this just loss is 173 so which is our answer c i hope that makes sense because we only care about the maximum if the ma uh, medium value of the losses is on this side but since it's not we can just disregard that information if you guys have any questions feel free to leave them down below otherwise as always make sure you like subscribe and share bye